Once you have taken your samples, you'll need to fill out the chain of custody sheet. In accordance with ISO 8573, this sheet must accompany your samples back to Trace Analytics. Section 1 is designated for your basic information. If you've sampled with us before, this section may already be filled out. Ensure that all of this information is accurate. Rush delivery of reports is available for an additional $150. You can mark the chain of custody in Section 2. You will also need to contact Trace Analytics customer service team to schedule this. If you do not need rush reporting, then leave this box blank. In Section 3, you'll need to enter the sampler type. In this case, it's the Pinocchio. Write down the sampler serial number and the flow meter serial number. These can be found on the base of each tool. In order to fill out Section 4, you'll need to locate the serial number and expiration date that's stamped on the triple bagged agar plates. The first line on Section 6 is designated for the sterility blank. Enter the date only on this line. You will then need to enter each sample that you've taken. Include blinds if you are following ISO 8573-7. You've marked each plate with a corresponding number. Fill out the collection date and the location sampled for your reference. When you reach the column titled Analysis Type, mark the appropriate analysis test that is on your purchase order. All ISO 8573-7 blinds should be labeled basic. Then continue to fill out the gas type, the flow rate, and the sample time in minutes. For example, for your air sample, the flow rate should be 100 liters per minute and the sample time is 10 minutes. Ensure that you have entered all the necessary information accurately and legibly. Double check that all of the information is filled out. This can save valuable time and ensure that you receive your results in a timely manner. Once you've double checked your chain of custody sheet, make a copy for your records and include it in the box with your samples.